Hello students, in previous lecture we have already discussed about the poverty level. Students, all of you know, to solve the problem of poverty in India, Dadabhi Nauruji was first developed and designed the concept of the poverty line. And what is the poverty line? The poverty line means which refers to the cutoff of the point on the line of the distribution which divides the population as the poor and the non-poor. And according to the Planning Commission of India, they defined the poverty line on the basis of the minimum nutritional calories requirement in the rural areas also and the urban areas also. Means the minimum calories requirement for the rural areas is 2400 calories and in urban area 2100 calories. Students, in this section, we are going to take the more information about the categorizing of poverty or the poor. Students, the poverty or the poor person, they are categorized in the many ways. First one is See students, the poverty is categorized in the four ways. First one is calling poor, second one is the transient poor, third one is occasionally poor, and last one is never poor. Students, to whom we call the calling poor or the transient poor? or occasionally poor and a neighbor poor. Let us see what are the meaning of all these concepts. First of all, the conic poor. The conic poor means here. See students, the conic poor means those persons who are regularly poor for the longer duration. Means sometimes they have only the limited money. That person we call the conic poor. For example, the casual poor or casual workers. Means these workers, 
for this person they belongs to the backward classes and these persons we call the conic poor then to whom we call the big transient poor the transient poor is students the transient poor means those person who regularly move in and out of the poverty for example the small farmers or maybe the seasonal workers then third one is students the location is poor means who are above the poverty line but sometimes they become the poor why because of the bad luck and that person we call it the occasionally poor and last one means never poor never poor poor means those person who are non poor person means they are the rich person and that person we call the big never poor means the poverty or the poor person we categorize it as mainly four ways chronic poor transient poor occasional poor and never poor students we will explain it with the help of this chart See you.
poor person or the poverty in the five categories. Here, this is the poverty line, and if we observe the first diagram, then we will come to know here. Below the poverty line, those people are poor. Means these people we call them the always poor, and sometimes the there are the so many people are there who are regularly poor for the long duration. Means the long time. Means sometimes they have only. Eaten money, but always they are regularly poor, and only in some time they have a eaten money, and that person we call the chronic poor. And here the chronic poor or the occasional poor means these are the transient poor. Means these people, they regularly move in and out of the poverty, and that person we call the transient poor. See here, sometimes these people may be move in or move out of the poverty line. That person we call the transient poor. For example, the small farmers or the seasonal worker means sometimes uh, they get the work or maybe the employment opportunity only for the season, and that person we call it the seasonal person. Means this person regularly move in and out of the poverty line, and that person we call it the transient poor. And next one is the neighbor poor. Neighbor poor means here those person who are non poor person or maybe they are the, they are the rich person. See here they are the means these people are the non poor and always they are the above the poverty line and that person. Call the neighbor poor person. So students, in this way we categorize the poor person or the poverty with the help of the poverty line. But there are the major problem means there will be a difficulty to identify the poor person. Why there is a difficulty to identify the poor person? Because here there are many factors other than the income and the assets. Assets means the wealth and which associate the poverty. For example, the accessibility of the basic education or maybe the health care facilities or the drinking water or sanitization. These all are the factors. So poverty line does not take means the poverty line also does not take into the consideration the social factors. Here the social factor these are the also important to the poverty line. But here the poverty line maybe does not take into the consideration. The social factor that trigger the poverty. For example, the social factor means the illiteracy or maybe the lack of the civil and the political factors. Then, what is the aim of the poverty alleviation programs or poverty alleviation schemes? Here, the aim of the poverty alleviation schemes or the programs. To improve the human lives. See here, the aim of the poverty programs, alleviation programs, to improve the human lives. How? By 
explaining the range of the maybe he thinks that the person would be or could do. So this is the aim of the poverty elevation schemes. So students, this is all about the categorizing of the poverty or the poor person. Means the poor person they are categorized in the four ways: corny poor, transient poor, occasional poor, and never poor. We also discuss it or explain it with the help of the diagram or chart. So in your examination, they ask this question for the four mark. This is a very important concept for the exam purpose. Hope all of you understood this concept. Thank you.